Oh, you picked Gondor. Okay, I will make you regret this, bro. I will make you regret this. I am done with all of these Gondor pre-pickers. And I was afraid to get Rohan, but I luckily get to play with the Isengard faction. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Isengard is the best faction when it comes to break the parts of the wall. When it comes to smash the gate apart. And this player, Kotti, won't have any time playing this game. Trust me on that one. And also, we are on the most recent version of the patch 2.22 which made it a bit easier for the Uruks to creep the ward layer and for that reason we will uh, use a different strategy to start the game with Uruk pit, skip the furnace and get a crossbow man upon the field oh no, he's such a nice guy too to me look at this guy, love your videos now I feel bad for what I'm gonna do to him boys but you know what they say, you know? A man gotta do what a man gotta do. In Cotty, there is nothing, absolutely nothing personal about what I'm gonna do to you, boys. A uh, boy. I hope you can forgive me on that one, actually. Because, you know, when I, whenever I play uh, every second or third game, somebody pre-picking the Gondor faction, which, by the way, is totally fine. I'm just kidding. But I'm... I need to teach those Gondor pickers a lesson that they are not safe behind their stone wall made by the Numenorian architecture, you know? It's not safe at all. Okay, beautiful. So we got the creep. But I think we cannot finish the works off. Maybe it... It was a mistake from me, actually. I should have killed the works before the lair. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. We don't care about the settlement that much. I mean, we do, but we care more about the uh, uh, money from the treasury. That's more important for us, especially at the beginning of the game. Okay, so um, we need to finish the job with the crossbow man. So we can capture the settlement. I think he's creeping. He has to be. I don't see where the soldiers from him are. And also, I don't see the hobbit Peregrine took. So I'm assuming he's creeping something. But luckily, our Urukpir is about to hit level 2. Even if he comes with, like, level 2, level 3 soldier, our Berserkers will be there, will be there uh, to just defend and save today. I saw the soldiers. Uh, are they level 2, actually? Are they level 2 or not? Oh, he... Bro, now I'm so sorry. Koti. He's not only a very nice guy, but also it turns out that he's a new player. Going for the archer range so early. Oh no. The conflicts I have between the stuff I need to do and the stuff I want to do. Koti, Koti, Koti. You know, I feel so bad for this guy because it's potentially one of his first games. He's like, oh my god, Shanks is a such a nice guy. I'm gonna download the arena right now and gonna play. Maybe that's his first game ever. And he will be tra traumatized after this game, bro. But if you watch this video, know that I like you, bro. But I gotta just do what I gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I will, guys, because, you know, it's between you and me, Koti doesn't know anything about it, I will explain you guys our plan uh, for this scheme. Uh, so, what we need, what we will be doing is uh, to troll a little bit. And the way we will do this is to recruit the siege ladders, okay? But first of all, we need to fill up the bees. And creep the whole map. Just to make sure that we have always the great amount of resource income. Because to pull this off, what we will be doing, we will need a lot of cash. And also this form, uh, this combination of the crossbow man with the berserker feels incredible smooth, by the way. Like, you can creep easily. All you need is a crossbow man to kill the wards. And then your berserker can destroy their lair. You see this? The Vorgs don't have any chance, and then we, once we kill them, we can send the Berserker forward to destroy the lair of the Vorgs. Do it. 
Oh, I'm feel actually I feel so bad for Kotida. Like it looks very much like that he's an extremely new player. And new people like to play Gondor actually a lot. It was I was also like this when I played the game for the first time. I used to uh, like to play only with Gondor or maybe Rohan, but never ever enjoyed to play Isengard or Mordor. I was always thinking, oh by the way, why can I not capture this? Here's a hobbit there, I need to use the Palantir. I was like, why can I not capture this? Peregrine took the follow took, was hidden. Blocking the settlement. Not with me. Yeah, when I, when I you, first time used to play this game uh, offline and also skirmish, multiplayer online, I always had like a love to the walls of Gondor. And I wanted to play it always slowly, get eco, level up my heroes a little bit, get Numenori and Stormworker from the, uh, uh, you know, structures of Gondor, get this beautiful white shining walls, the improved gate, and also these laser towers. But trust me, once you get into this game, you can, you will figure out that playing evil factions, that evil factions are at least as powerful as the good factions. Okay, so if you don't know, you can combine these guys, by the way. So you can get the Berserker up on the ladder. And then when we, when we, when we attach the ladder to the wall of the enemy, uh, the Berserkers will jump off the ladder on top of the wall, just like in the films. In the films it was against Rohan, but in this game we will make it also work against Gondor. Look at this. <laughs> Look, it looks so cool, bro. But we cannot send them one by one. We need to gather an army of ladders to kind of besiege the whole Numenorean wall of Gondor simultaneously. But you know me, I, have, I like always to have like a plan B. Just in case this is not gonna work, we also need a secondary plan, which will be. Uh, getting some rams to break every part of the wall to show our opponent that he should not feel safe behind his walls. Okay, so I think we're gonna destroy, we're gonna lose this outpost at the bottom side, but it's totally fine. I, I don't care about that one actually. We go for Terrible Siege Works technology at the outpost. And from this outpost, we will pump out, uh, you know, the, 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 what is this, the rams over and over again. Find an unguarded wall top. Have a bolt ready. They're raiding our camp. Okay, we are almost ready, boys. We are almost ready. Who needs loot? Who needs Sharku? Who needs Saruman? Nobody needs that. All we need are three, six, four siege weapons. We have one of them in the castle and three of them at the outpost. And we will pump out the battering rams. Pump, 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 pump. <laughs> I'm so sorry, bro. Koti, I'm so sorry. I don't think he's ready for this, boys. I don't think he's ready for this. What can men do? Let's go. I'm gonna use even the Palantir to make them even faster. These uh, ladders. Hold on a second. Let's make them faster, shall we? A boom. Oh boy. And if this is not gonna work, our uh, primary plan is gonna come in clutch. Um, if you don't know, the explosive mines have the highest destruction power out of all siege units in the game. And they have also the potential of a chain reaction. So when you put them close to each other and you make it boom, you know, you make only one of them pop with a berserker or any fire connection, then it's gonna connect to the other explosive mines nearby and it will just bam 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 you can pretty much blow up the whole castle 
with the chain reaction of the explosive mines. But maybe that won't be needed, so we need to first of all siege him. This is... Uh, I feel so bad for this guy, bro. He's like, what is going on? Am I playing against Hard Army? Please don't uns unsubscribe to my YouTube channel, bro. Don't do this, Cotty. Nothing personal. And by the way, guys, during the winter time, I will also try my best to stream more, live stream more on my Twitch channel. So if you haven't already done it, you can, uh, you know, follow me there on Twitch. You can find the link in the description down below. And I would love to meet you up in the next live stream. Because the winter time is the best time for BFME, BFME games. And also during the live streams, we will cover BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King as well. And another point, if you didn't know it, we have a second YouTube channel as well, which is dedicated to the uh, streams of Twitch. So it's called Shanks BFME. You can find the link in the description down below as well. There you can find mostly BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King videos, while this, the primary YouTube channel, is focusing more on BFME 1 content. Which, by the way, of course, as you potentially can tell yourself, is my favorite game. I'm so... Look. Oh my god, bro. Oh boy. Okay, so it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time for the ultimate chain reaction of the explosive mines in this game against Cutty. And again, I need to apologize for what I'm about to do to him. Hopefully he can forgive me. And we will... He will, he will not see me as his enemy, you know? <laughs> this is... I don't know, bro. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I feel so bad. Like, he has some sort of army in the base, but I'm, I'm pretty certain that he's so broke and poor, he has no money. I wish I could use my industry on him. I'm not even picking it from my spellbook. Because, look, watch this. Bam. 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 Boom. And then they are all connected. They are all connected. And then all we need to do is get to one of them with the torch of our berserker. And it's gonna light up the whole castle. But first of all, we need to deal with these units with the fire arrows. That's very important. We need to stop the explosive mines. Because if they attack my explosive mine before it reaches there, it will explode. And I don't want this to happen. So we need to kill this stuff that is going to become dangerous uh, to our explosive mines, okay? Go, Berserkers. I'm going to use Warchan on them. Let's go. So let's use the Berserkers first to kill this army with the fire arrows, which are the ultimate counter to the explosive mines. We don't want them to touch it. Before it's too, you know, too early. Die. Faramir, you will die next, bro. Faramir, you better start moving away. Faramir, smooth, but you can't get away, Faramir. Denethor. Okay, does he have any, any more units? Yes, he has. We need to kill them too. They have also fire arrows. And I'm gonna bring the mines now because he's focused on my explosive mines watch this boys we're gonna split up everything we're gonna light up the whole castle whole castle we go with the berserkers too does he have anybody that can shoot i don't think so he does have a combo with fire arrows i would not recommend you to touch me do not attack me rangers that's gonna hurt you do not attack me bro <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. No. I think that's gonna be enough, bro. I think this is connected to destroy all three farms simultaneously. If it does, guys, sorry for what I'm about to do, what I did to this Coty. It was not personal at all. Probably it's one of his first online games and I... 
feel like he won't be playing today any more games. A GG well played. A man had to do what a man had to do. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, Koti07, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys. And how many points we got actually for killing Koti? Let me take a look into this. What's our current rank? Only one rank. GG.